welcome back everyone to episode 60 of base day one anyway this is alpha 18 seven days to die it is good to be back in this episode here today we're actually going to be working around home getting some more base stuff done which is pretty exciting um now i did a grind episode in between these episodes here and i've got a whole bunch of steel and stuff going on so first things first what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, spend some of that sweet sweet steel and get everything upgraded here. So I should have, hey, there we go. I couldn't hit that forge in the corner. One, two, three, four, five full forges going for steel alone. And the rest of these I now have lit up. We placed them down the other episode, but we never did anything with them. Um, I have them all lit up, taking care of small stone for us. So these will be all of our cement ones. Now I do have to make some odds and ends for these forges, but we should be good to go. Um, I have a bunch of sand being made. Yep, there we are. Uh, but we are still are a little low on the uh, the stone. Actually, we don't, we don't have any stone. So I'm going to have to do another grind episode here in between stuff. So you'll probably see one Sunday, actually. Um, oh, never mind. They're up here. I started just dumping stuff in here because it's a little easier than running up and down. We still have to make the storage area here. So much to do. Uh, so... Let's go ahead and grab the rest of that steel. What I need to actually upgrade here... Oh, we got it all. <laughs> what I need to upgrade here is these rings so I can get all of this upgraded to iron. Actually, this is going to be cut out here. I'm going to be cutting this out. We're going to be um, putting in glass. Actually, I kind of want to do that. You know what? Let's do that. I don't really have a full focus today. I just know I want to get a lot of stuff done around home. Oh. I'll upgrade these pillars here, and then I'll start cutting out this floor. So I just leveled up here. What I've been doing, uh, I got a little carried away. I just kept going with the steel here. Uh, this is actually satisfying, going back and repairing. So a lot of these blocks have like a little bit of damage to them, but... Oh, I hear another screamer. <laughs> That's awesome. They just keep coming, and they just keep dying. It's kind of a, a useless venture. Uh, but we did just level up again. So if we take a look, we have four skill points available. I am at level 101 now, game stage 242. So I got some skill points to spend. Um, we're going to go right into Lucky Looter because I need to start getting some good stuff to keep up on my ammo. Uh, especially in 18.3, once it comes to stable, uh, they took away, or they, I think they made it higher. You needed more brass, or the brass broke down to less. I don't know what they did, actually, but they made it more expensive to make brass casings out of trader brass. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and invest a few points into this here. So, it looks like we'll need a couple more points. And something else I'll put some points into here, because we have one more left, is salvage operations. Because um, it just really, really helps with all the parts we need, because... We were trying to get tons. Uh, we're pretty much just spending points on whatever at this point now. What in the world? Oh! That wasn't a screamer. That was just a uh, random zombie. Or a couple random zombies that walked into the fence. That's funny. I really need to put the blades in on these sides. Oh, there's a wandering horde. That's what's going on. Well, let's try to take these guys out here. You don't need your head. Oop, I hear a screamer. Oh, wow. What in the world? Why was it chilling out out there? That is so weird. Maybe it just happened to come in during the same time and spawn and walk through them? I've never known screamers to do that. That's new behavior. Are they learning? <laughs> anyway, okay, so I got rid of the steel we had. Uh, we have tons more on the way anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and actually start cutting out uh, some of this here. Well, that was loud. Look at that. <laughs> Big open space here now. Uh, I just have to finish off this last little corner, but we're going to go ahead and grab up our bulletproof glass blocks we should have a good amount of them because we still have one forge actually um going on down here let's take a look and grab them out of there too uh this one last forge uh this one here 
is specifically for making bulletproof glass blocks. And in order to empty it out, I still need to feed sand into it so that I can feed the stuff out of it, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, so yeah, it's a little bit of work and those things take forever to make. Uh, we're going to have to make a bank of those too for the skyscraper project because we're going to need tons of them. This project's going to be big. Oh, wow. Oh, she just died. But they could, she could see me in here like this. Ah, and I can hear the zombies. <laughs> this is cool. Where are they at? Oh, they're over there. <laughs> you dead. Oh. Oh. Look at that. This is, this is like an XP place. This is cool. I'm going to actually rather enjoy this. I'm just saying, it's sitting here, having a sip of my coffee, listening to all the zombies getting electrocuted, and then eventually dying in the blades. Okay, so I chopped out that last little bit here. So we're going to make this actually out of full blocks. Um, it's actually going to be really hard to see, but um, it's going to look pretty badass in my opinion. Uh, now, this is all steel, so we should be able to hold this bulletproof glass no problem. Uh, for these corners, I'm actually going to start out, just because I like to be safe, start out from the corners and kind of work my way like this instead of uh, putting too much load in one area. Um, the physics in this game have actually greatly improved. Wow, that is so hard to see. Um, have greatly improved over time. Uh, there is weird things like you couldn't walk on the uh, the glass windows. It would cause like massive um, collapses and stuff. It was really really wonky for a while, but they really have improved on them. So I'll give them that. Here we go. Let's get this done. Oh, another zombie. All right, and I got all those in. Let's go up here now and uh, whoa. And take a look at what that looks like. I want to eventually get rid of this old ladder system, too. This is going to get knocked out. We're going to put one in the middle of this. It's, uh, it's going to look pretty damn good. Oh, okay, it's not so bad from up here. You can see it pretty easily. Uh, but it looks kind of weird. Every once in a while, you get these sides. Is it because they're facing in different directions, maybe? I think that's maybe what it is. Because I was, like, twisting and turning. Okay, so what I'm going to do with this next side, then, is I'm going to take the block... But I'm going to turn it once, and I'm going to keep it like that. And see if that stops from this from happening. Because this is it's a little distracting. I don't like that. So we're going to do this side here. I'm going to turn it once just to be safe. And then do the one side this way. Maybe that's the reason. That's actually... Um, if that's so, I'm glad I learned this lesson before starting my skyscraper project. That would have really sucked. Okay, so I did this entire side in the same uh, direction, and look at that. Not a single one of those little weird glitches. So, it definitely does matter how you rotate the block. So, I guess I'm going to cut out the ones here that are showing it. A little bit of an expensive mistake, but at least I learned. It maybe, hopefully, helped you guys out. So this side looks really good. Um, unfortunately, I think I'm going to have to cut out a lot of the blocks over here because they all seem to be in random directions. Um, I'm hoping it kind of actually cleans up along this side here, but uh, we'll find out. Uh, if I have to, I'll cut some out because looking at that is going to annoy the hell out of me for a very long time. And I got to look at it for a long time. So uh, expensive mistake, but like I said, lesson learned. Oh, another screamer. Free XP. Okay, well, that's done for the most part. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to have to like look at... Ugh, they're all over the place. Damn it. I'm going to have to pretty much, I think, drill out this whole side. But that'll be a uh, for another time project because that's going to take a lot of patience. And it's a little bit expensive. So I think what we're going to work on next, actually, is our ladder system up and down. I'm going to get this done properly. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go ahead and I'm going to drill down through these cement blocks right here and actually replace them with this block right here. Now first, I got to uh, check on my forges here and see how they're doing. Okay, we still got some time on them, uh, but I'm going to get some more steel going on. 
Alright, so each one has 300 steel added to the queue. And it looks like we have some cement we can do too. Nice. Cool. So I'm going to go and uh, actually also make sure everything's topped up below here. And then we can go ahead and start our next major, major renovation. So I need to grab some iron here, but what we're going to do basically is just collect some free XP. Uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to upgrade these to iron and these will actually hold weight ladders will. Uh, if we take a look over here, I have a glass block. Actually, it looks like it's kind of suspended in there, but it's because of this wooden ladder. So if I upgrade this to iron, we should be able to hold in the floors no problem. And what I'll do is I'll do one hole there, one hole there, one hole there, and one hole there. Uh, so there'll be a way up on that side and on the top, and we can keep going up as we need. And on the bottom here, what I'll do is just uh, a walkway across so we can get up and down really easily. I think that'll look uh, pretty damn cool. But I gotta remove this and waste yet another glass block. Oh, sorry glass block. So in order to make some of the stuff I want here uh, to get this going, I have to make some... Um, uh, a multi-block here. I love these new multi-blocks ideas. So we need to make, uh, I think we're gonna make, tw we're gonna make 25 multi-block beams of the metal trusting eye beams. I, I love that they added these in because now you can build these. Like I was saying, Settlers Mod had to add a lot of this stuff in. It was a lot of work, like even just a balance and everything, it's gonna be a breeze this time around. Now I did say I was gonna be working on Settlers Mod, um, Alpha or January, but I'm I'm a little behind on the playthrough. I thought we'd be a lot further by now, but that's okay because I mean Take my time enjoy it, right? So I'm gonna get these going here, and I'll show you guys what I want to do for the walkway. Oh Wow, and actually that was 109 broken glass that I threw on the floor. I can actually use that and put it right back into the forge That's that's sand. So I've installed some beams here. As you can see, uh, they're they're a little heavy, but this was enough to hold it just right. Um, and on top of that, we also added support here because technically I cannot stick a full block in here. That ladder is a full block, so it's actually supporting this one. So not only does it look cool, it looks actually kind of suspended. And you'd think a, a metal trussing block can come out that far anyway, right? Uh, so what I'm going to do with these here is I'm actually going to put these catwalk blocks on them. There we go. And uh, upgrade these. There we are. Damn, that's sexy. So that's all installed. What I think I'm going to do now is we're actually going to put in a little bit uh, more glass. Um, I'm kind of thinking too... Because the cop spit does hit up here and occasionally ends up flying back here. Uh, repairing this glass is actually rather expensive. To repair one, uh, one HP on it, you need to use a whole nother glass block. So I think that's something I'm going to look into uh, fixing for Settler's Mod too. Because that's a, that's a little ridiculous. <laughs> I'm going to use a whole nother glass block to, block to just barely fix it. Uh, so I'm kind of debating putting in another small pillar wall, just like that one down there, just enough to stop the spit uh, from coming back here and hitting it. And I, d I honestly don't think that would look too bad either. Just leave a couple uh, entrance ways, ways ins and ways outs, and it, uh, it should be good to go. I think that would be okay. Anyway, uh, for in here, what I think I'm gonna use here, if we take a look at our shapes, is the bulletproof glass centered. Uh, because I have these round pillars on the end, oh damn it, I'm going to copy that rotation. <laughs> uh, because I have those round pillars on the end, uh, this is the only block I think that meets it nicely. Okay, and I think we've spent enough of these uh, glass blocks for now. We're starting to get a little lower on them. And oh, hello free XP. Uh, next step is going to be, I'm going to actually climb that ladder, fill in that hole up there. I should have some frames and some concrete mix, yep. Uh, to get rid of that ladder, come back up here, and then we're going to do these here. 
whoops, let's get that out of there. Uh, one at a time. So I'll take out this block here, replace it with a ladder up there. Actually, I'll probably... Yeah, because the ladders are supporting these blocks now because they're sitting directly underneath them. So uh, what I'll do is I'll first actually go up to the top, replace that middle block with a glass block, and then um, cut my way through this one and replace the ladders. Yeah, that'll work if you guys know what I mean. You can follow that. There we go, glass block replaced, and I'm going to stick a ladder in there and upgrade it. Just like that. Bang. Nice. Okay, so I just got to do the same there, there, and there. And then we will be done the upper ladder system. Um, I'm going to have to move my storage here pretty uh, sooner than later. Maybe we'll do the storage this episode, too. It sounds like we have a wandering horde walking into our blades. Yeah, it does too. Look at that XP go up. <laughs> Let's check this out. Where are they? Oh, they're all over here. Look how stupid they are. <laughs> That's awesome. Nice. XP farm, for sure. Uh, speaking of, actually, I think now that I'm looking at it, our little pillboxes that we made uh, for our SMGs when we get those up and running, I think I'm going to have to put switches on them so they don't run during like a normal daytime cycle um, and waste ammo because like my blades and stuff can take care of these guys. They just walk across it and get electrocuted. That's funny. I think we have to uh, go fix that electric fence at some point too. Okay, an old ladder system removed. <laughs> awesome, that was kind of fun. Uh, now, I noticed that these centered beams are also centered in, like, the middle. Um, not only vertically, but horizontally. So, uh, there's a little bit of space in between this and that. But, I kind of like it. I was like, ah, oh, damn, at first, once I noticed it and I finished them all. But now that I'm looking at it, you know what? I kind of actually like that style. I, I, think we'll, uh, I think we'll stick with that. I think it looks pretty cool. It's going to look nice for our uh, storage area here. Okay, so uh, since we're going to need a storage area, I'm going to go ahead. Do we have... How many nails do we have? we got to have a few kicking around here. 69. Well, that's not enough. We're going to need some more nails. So I'm going to go ahead and start making up a whole bunch of storage containers here. Now, a lot of people ask me, how do you make them? You have to look up the wooden storage furniture multi-block. Uh, the multi-blocks have this little symbol beside them if you're looking for them. So these forages, once you have them completely upgraded, they actually produce quite fast. Oh wow, I'm going to have to top off our iron here too. Um, I think we're actually starting once again uh, to run low on the iron. Oh, look at that, we are. I'm definitely going to have to do another grind of so We're uh, flying through our materials like crazy. Uh, but that's good. That's the whole purpose of it. Wow, we are officially out of iron now. We, we flew, through, flew through all of that. That's actually a little hard to say. There we go. Uh, so we both need stone and iron, but in the, the grind so Now, a lot of people ask me why I don't make tree farms. This is one of the reasons, too, because I went out this way uh, farming trees for that episode. And look at all these nodes I got written down here. We got some iron nodes. We got two iron nodes here, a couple iron nodes over here. Wait, no, two coal nodes. And I think the rest are um, iron and one nitrate. Yeah, there we go. So I have found a whole bunch of nodes. I found a whole bunch of little goodies here and there. Killed a bunch of zombies. It's a nice break. I honestly, tree farms look disgusting too. Seriously, guys. Be a better people. Don't tree farm. Okay, so uh, what I've done is we're just going to place them like this. Like, that doesn't need to be anything crazy fancy. Um, I may... Put some concrete plates around him. Getting some uh, some crazy leg here because everything's running and it's been running for a while. Uh, along with the forges. Usually what I do when I'm running the forges like this is I actually leave. I'll go looting. I'll go do something else. Uh, when we're working on the skyscraper, this will run but not be loaded so it won't be causing any leg. Uh, that's how I kind of get around it. But this episode here, we're working at home and I need to keep those forges going. So uh, we're going to have to deal with a little bit of it for now. Uh, so I'm going to actually start transferring these uh, boxes here uh, over to here. So I reloaded and it looks like it got rid of some of that leg. So that definitely helped. I mean, it was running for like an hour 
in the same spot doing the same thing. So <laughs> I'll give it that. Uh, but I've got some stuff moved here. We got this uh, stage of boxes out. We got this stage of boxes out. And I've gotten out this whole entire side of um, old storage out. So all I need to do now is actually make some signs and start separating stuff nicely, right? Like this one will be just ammo. Uh, this one down here will be just weapons. So we'll have actually a lot more room. Uh, in the end here. So uh, some of these I just moved over for now like we can um, also do uh, This can actually go in the ammo box too because it's part of being ammo, right? So we can stick that in there and then make a box just for the mods Okay, so I got a good chunk of this move. This is uh, <laughs> this is actually taking some time, but it's uh, Much needed to be done. Look at this it's starting to all come together. The other thing I realized too We need some dang paint I'm going to get some paint going here. Uh, it's 2100, so I'm going to take a little break from doing all this organizing. I'm starting to get a little bored of it. Um, I'm not big on the organizing part. Um, like, in real life I do, but in game for some reason I just don't enjoy it. Uh, we got to go out and punch some flowers, take out some of that organization frustration. Look at all these flowers out here. Just asking for it. Let's see if we can't get our flower kill count up. Okay, so let's get some more of that sweet, sweet paint going on here. We already have a little bit in here. I, I do believe it was mums we needed to make it. Yes, there we go. Awesome. So I'm going to have to uh, actually make a farm here soon and start farming these just so we can make the, uh, the paint, especially for the skyscraper. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead. How many can we mix up here? Ooh, a whole stack. Well, this should, should last us a while, I hope. Um, and not really overflow. So three minutes and 30 seconds. Well, you know what? I kind of want to grab a drink of water or a drink of water, a drink of coffee, water, and get all the water I want in my coffee. Okay, so I'm going to pretty much just watch this go and let it overflow into my inventory. Oh, it makes 5,000. Oh, that's not so bad. Okay. I thought it was like dumping them out in chunks of a thousand for some reason. Uh, so that's definitely enough room for it to fit, but I'm still going to have that coffee. Okay, so we have these farm plots here. Whoops. Do not throw those away. We have these farm plops. Farm plops. Farm plots kicking around here. Uh, I may as well actually go upstairs and throw some of these down. I did just throw uh, these mums, but I, could, I should turn these into seeds here. That way we don't have to run out and go and punch flowers. We can do that at home. Nothing like punching flowers in the own comfort of your own place. You know, we're still not full up here, and um, we need to make a bunch of these. I still have some down below, I think. I don't have any iron on me. I'm going to grab some of that, too. But I uh, brought this up one more level to match with these. I'm going to go see, actually, how many we can make. We should have a decent amount of flesh here. I've been saving it for a very long time. And, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's get this stuff together here. Okay, so I think I have everything. Nitrate, clay soil, running flesh, and wood. We can make 80 of these. Wow, that's kick-ass. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? Since that's going to take 24 minutes, I'm going to go ahead and throw it up in one of my workbenches here. Uh, we could also make some more of these, too. Look at all the stuff we can do. There's so much room for activities in here. Well, I guess it's time to make some more uh, bullets, too. We actually got some gunpowder going. We have to make sure we're always stocked up for Horde Night here. Uh, now, this week, we've been spending a... Last, actually, few weeks, we've been spending a lot of time working on the base. So I think after next Horde Night, we're going to have to go out and do some heavy looting. That way, we have some stuff to sell to the trader to make some uh, more bullet cases once we're caught up here. Uh, we still have quite a bit, but I do not believe we have enough. There we go. So that would made us 842 bullets. So that should actually be good enough for the next Horde Night. So there we go. Uh, that goal is accomplished. I'm going to keep getting uh, stuff made here. Like I have some more uh, storage boxes to put down. And I'm making some more nails here. So I can get some more signs going. <laughs> we need a lot of those. Okay, so I've got to plant those seeds. And we should actually have a decent amount of farm plots down here. If I look in the right workbench. Yes, we have 14. Um, I'm also rocking some stuff. Stuff brought over from stores there too. My uh, inventory is now disorganized because of that. Uh, so let's go ahead and get these put down and get our mums planted. Oh, it sounds like more free XP. 
still not quite done yet. We just have a few more plots to make. So what's that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven more plots and we'll be done. But check this out. Does not look cool with like the wood border around it. I think that actually looks really nifty. Uh, anyway, we got a whole bunch of steel here, too. There's like so much we can do, right? Uh, we've made a whole ton of steel. So I think we've done all the way around the outside with a steel border. Uh, I'm going to go double check in this corner over here. So uh, we're pretty much done on the outside as far as those defenses go. Yep. Uh, we can start. Yeah, just got to start upgrading the inside out here. So I'm going to start upgrading this row, I think, because we pretty much finished the inside here. There we go, not too shabby. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, almost eight stacks of forged steel um, in that amount of time. So that should easily do those rings for us. And then we'll come back down here and uh, finish organizing. Always need a break from that stupid organization. And there we go. Look at that, the whole inside ring here is now done up to steel too. This base is actually starting to look pretty badass. A lot different than the wood box we had originally. Uh, I'm really liking the way this is turning out here. So, how much steel do we have left? We still have tons of steel. Well, I guess this row here is going to get upgraded too. And I'm out of steel. Damn. So we made it just over halfway around the top on the inside. So there's actually not too much steel left until all of the rings are upgraded and then we can actually upgrade all of these too here uh to iron Ooh, we could actually do that now there is so much work here to do uh so let's take a look here at our game stage um we're level 242 actually our level didn't seem to improve that at all hmm i wonder if your blade trap kills increase your game stage too uh who knows uh, anyway, uh, we're still looking for that skill point. Look how close we are to leveling again. Uh, building like this gets you mad levels. Like, I'm at level 100, popping them out like no big deal. Uh, there's painting we need to do. Oh, wow, I'm so distracted. Okay, I'm going to get the farm plots put out, and we're going to finish my storage area here and get rid of this old stuff. Come back, and there's 42 farm plots to go. Oh, that stupid um, campfire messes me up there. I'm going to have to move that, too. Uh, that's okay, though. That's what renovations are for, right? Whoever built this place is an idiot. I don't know why they would put that there. Okay. Awesome. There we go. We got a whole floor ready to start pumping out mums so we can make uh, food. Now, I have um, crap loads of corn, crap loads of potatoes, so we don't really have to introduce those back yet, but uh, eventually we will. So I'm going to get these boxes put down, put all the, the signs on the outside of the boxes, and start doing the uh, moving stuff around routine. And mission successful. So, the only blocks I haven't replaced are the ones down there, but I'm going to probably actually keep them like that. Uh, but all of our storage is now up here, and it's all organized. As you can see, I tried to keep general stuff together, like our parts and components, um, all up in there. Look at all this space for activities. Uh, we have all our trader stuff. So anything I can sell the trader, right in this box. So um, after Horde Night, it's not a big deal. I can come in here, bam, select all, head off to the trader, right? That'll save me tons of time. So in here, we got our miscellaneous and our bars and, you know, like our, all the other crap I don't barely use. Uh, this one here is starting to get full. We're getting a lot of batteries and crap, but that's okay. Uh, and in here, we of course, we have our building blocks. We have our frames and our mix. Uh, our cement and our cobble and our doit is over here. Um, I should have actually put the doit over here. Oh, I forgot to do our health stuff. Damn it. Okay, so I'm going to make one over here uh, right beside our food named health. There we go. And that's where all that health stuff will go. And then dirt will go over here. Okay, and we should be able to take the last storage out from down here. Oh my goodness. It's like New Year's new base almost at this point this place almost feels like a whole new entire place there we go nice and filled in uh so what will go in here eventually 
is all of our electronics. Oh, I should fill in this space right here too. We only need one ladder coming down here. Um, any more than that at this point is overkill. Uh, so there's gonna be some major renovations at some point. We're gonna open this up so that we can make um, paths and tunnels all over the place. Uh, Cause at this point, there's really no way for the zombies to get up to me. So there shouldn't be any pathing issues or anything else. Uh, so we still need to make the tunnels from the uh, pill boxes, which are actually going to go down. They're going to go deeper than this underneath here. And they're actually going to go out into this place. And I do have to do some uh, fixing up here too and put a hole here so that we can get up and move the hole from over here. But yeah, there's, there's still a ton of work and a ton of modifications we need to do to this place. Uh, speaking of, let's get rid of this little hole here. This will be our last one. There we go. Fill that in. Nice. Oh, this feels so good. We're out of our little uh, old school dungeon here. And oh my goodness, look at this. Uh, this isn't running. That's kind of actually wasting time here. So I'm going to get a few of those going. Of course, I know the time doesn't really justify, but we'll get back to it maybe eventually. And there we go. Successful look at that. Our storage is done. Uh, we got... The modifications for our permanent way in and out done. Uh, I think these look good, especially with that. Um, now I'm gonna I'm gonna rethink of doing um, the wood down here. Maybe we'll make it like something stronger, like steel. Yeah, I can copy that texture actually. I think that would look badass holding up the uh, the brick. Okay, time to grab up our paint here. We should have a bunch done if I can find my. Oh, it looks, it's weird. <laughs> it's on the right side. It's uh, weird looking at all that stuff now. There we go. I can't even find my way around my own place. Okay, so first things first is I've actually got to copy uh, this texture right here. So we're going to pick that texture and we're going to paint these columns so that they match, <laughs> match everything else. Oh no, remember how I said earlier that it really sucks if you forget to do a side in um, survival because there is not a paint all sides? Look at that. I didn't paint that. That one block. Oh, that's such a pain in the butt. <laughs> I really want to add paint all sides to the uh, survival paintbrush. Honestly, I just, I really hate that you can't do that. I know they're going for realism, but come on, it's seven days to die. Okay, so I picked, uh, I picked the same texture that I used uh, for the beams, and wow, I actually really, really like that. Yep, we're definitely switching that out for the wood texture. There we go. Yeah, I think that actually blends much better now. Nice. Okay, so I want to get these boxes painted up here, too. Um, I think I'm going to go with like a wood texture for the boxes. Uh, so let's go, um, I do like the wood oak the best, to be honest. Uh, the wainscoting, yeah, we'll use the wainscoting on the bottom and then the wood oak on the top. Let's see what that looks like here. Let's, um, uh, slap the wainscoting on and go. Oh, I wish I went back to the same page here. And go up to the wood oak on the top. Let's see what that looks like. Ooh, I do like that. It blends really well. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. <clears throat> okay, and paint job complete. I like how that turned out. Oh, that, whoops. I'm going to take that out of my hands before I do something I regret. <laughs> I think that blends in really well. It's just too bad um, you can't paint the signs. Fun pimps, do you hear me? Allow us to paint the signs, please. That would actually be incredibly useful. But there we go. So our storage area is complete. Now we got to get this floor painted. And we got to get the ceiling painted up in there, too. So um, I'm going to take a look at the textures here and see what I want to do for the floor. Oh, no. I noticed a mistake I did over here with these storage boxes. There's supposed to be one back. I was painting the floor, and I want to go with this um, gray pattern here. And then I realized, hey, something doesn't line up. Damn it. And I finished it off, moved the storage and everything. Oh, what a pain in the butt. Um, okay, well, I guess, uh, <laughs> I guess I can get that fixed up right now.
And there we go. Like nothing ever happened because it didn't. Totally nothing happened. So now we can actually get back to painting here. I want to finish up this floor. Uh, so I'm going to do the outside, I think, of this floor with a towel texture. Oops, I just picked the uh, picked the texture instead of choosing one. So we got different towel textures here. Um, I kind of liked like the plain concrete ones, but we'll, we'll go over to the towels. Uh, I, th I think I like this one the best, the white one. It's not too heavy because uh, there's some textures in this game that'll just like absolutely leg you out if there's too many of them one, one, in one area. Um, but with like the red textures and everything, I think that's actually going to look pretty damn clean. Oh yeah, look at that. I like it already. Okay, well, that took a moment, but look at this. Our floor looks nice and clean now, nice and organized. Um, everything in the room kind of blends together well. I'm really happy with that. Uh, the last thing we have to do is actually paint that roof there, which shouldn't take too long. Uh, there's a couple different towel blocks we can use. Uh, is it? Oh, it doesn't show up under. I wonder if it shows up under ceiling. Here we go. We have the wood ceiling, the drywall ceiling, drop ceiling 2, and drop ceiling 1. Uh, I think we're going to go with drop ceiling 2 just because it's uh, it's pretty far up there and it's it's pretty dark. So uh, I'm going to also try to paint roll that on because nothing else around it's painted anyway. So good to go. And there we are. We have our roof painted in, our ceiling painted in, our floor painted in, all our walls painted in, except for that one block, but we'll completely ignore that. And we got our storage moved, so we're pretty much ready to do the um, electrical stuff now left on our base. All the defenses, our permanent electricity, uh, tunnels, and everything else. So I think that's coming up next week here, because I don't think we're going to have time to finish that before Horde Night. We need to do uh, some crazy looting here. But check it out, guys. Um, I'm going to actually take my hand out here. Look at that. Pimp my base. How do you guys like it? I hope you enjoyed it. Anyways, it's been two and a half hours, actually, since I started this episode. I don't know how long it's going to be because I spent a lot of time just building. Uh, so I do apologize in advance if it's short. But once again, guys, I really hope you enjoyed. As usual, stay classy. Always back up them game saves. And I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one. No matter what you people say, I'm going to do my thing my way. No matter what you people do, I'm going to do my thing much better than you. No matter what you say or do, oh boy, you're out of luck. It's going to roll right off of me like water off the back of a duck. <laughs>